Maybe you're a beginner artist learning how to paint. Maybe you've been painting for years, but there's one thing you've got to know about color that you don't learn in traditional color theory. When you mix two colors in paint, they don't mix in a straight line. By the end of this video, you're going to understand what that means and why it's important for you to know as an artist. I first discovered this concept when I was reading David Briggs's website, The Dimensions of Color, and it explained so much. I highly recommend you read that website. I'll put a link in the description below. Recently, I had a chance to chat with another oil painter and teacher who discovered this concept on his own when he started taking pictures of paint mixing strings, color picking them and putting them in an HSL color space. My name is Chang Wang. Um, I am an oil painter. When I started painting, I remember taking some classes from the uh, University of Texas in Austin. The teacher asked us to do a color wheel ourselves, red, yellow, blue paint and black and white. It came in red light and mm -hmm. also have ultramarine blue. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I try to mix this color. It should give us uh, some sort of violet or purple, but it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. so, it didn't. so that was an early hint that something bizarre happening uh, yeah. and about our knowledge about color. Around 2007, I joined that daily painter movement, uh, opened a blog, start to sell uh, painting online. I was a scientist. My specialty was optics. It's like a pandemic uh, year, so started to 2020, uh, uh, doing some research, you know, try to really understand what is this, this monster called color. It's something I noticed because Mansell doesn't use orange. Orange is missing. Xiang wrote an article explaining why the traditional complement pairs are incorrect and why the Munsell color space is a better one for artists to use. You can read it on his website. So I started to mix red and green together. They didn't make a gray. The fact that the traditional complement pairs didn't mix to gray was just the beginning. But even with a better color wheel, Chang noticed something funny was going on. This is a manganese blue and a yellow ochre. This is a uh, ultramarine and a yellow ochre. Let's see, okay, ultramarine, so this is the first one, it located there. And then, see that, that start to curve around. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Like that, so that, that's like a curvature. Now that polar grid that he's showing that curvature on in his app, is an HSL color space. That's essentially the color wheel that you use in most color pickers that you find online. It's a digital color space based on RGB. Here's a fun side note. The company that puts out these ubiquitous color wheels where you know yellow and violet are supposed to be opposite each other for artists, also for a time put out an RGB wheel which shows yellow and blue as opposite each other, which, you know, any graphic designer, anybody using digital color knows that those colors will mix to white on a screen or to black if you're using a multiply layer. So they are opposite in a in an RGB space, which is based on how our eye works. Blue and the yellow are supposed to be uh, complementary. Additive will give me white or uh, subtractive will give me black, but then you mix paint, it is become green. Yeah. So that, that, that's kind of really bizarre. So Chang worked with a friend of his to create these free apps. They're all on his website. You can go play with them. I'll put a link in the description for you. And if you really want to go down the rabbit hole with this stuff, you got to check out an online resource called Hello Mixbox. It's put together by a designer at Canva. His name is Max Bow, and he kind of just does this stuff as a hobby. The curving nature of mixing paths through the color space means that you can't use a traditional artist's color wheel to reliably predict which pigments will neutralize each other. It means that the traditional way that art teachers use the color wheel and instruct us to use complements to neutralize each other is based on a fallacy. If you want to learn a more nuanced science-based approach to color, color theory, and paint mixing, subscribe. I got lots more.